do you know you can download the 30 minute high resolution global precipitation data set from nasa portal the precipitation data set is available from 2601 to the latest date if you want to know how to download this data set watch this video till the end all right so in order to download the data set search for nasa earth data search and then click on the first link which is search.artdata.nasa.gov and from here actually you can search any kind of data but for this particular video i'm going to download the imerge data set imerge and then hit click and after that you can see all the available imerge data set which represent the precipitation so here the first result is about precipitation 30 minute interval data set 0.1 degree which is around i think 200 meter resolution and it's available from 2601 to ongoing that means it's available till this date and here there are lots of other data set as well so for example this imerge late precipitation and then this is one day interval data set it's half hourly again uh, this is final precipitation data set so maybe we need the final precipitation data set so just click on this link and if that of course there are like lots of like uh, data set available so you can see it here it's 374k data set available but we don't want all the data set and uh, it's like very big file size for me so that's why i'm just just going to show you how to download like uh, for the maybe only one day data set so maybe uh, 2021 january 1 to 2021 then uh one of course this time uh, it's 23 59 and 59 that means one day data set because i don't want to like download all the images because it's the global coverage that means uh, all the our earth is covered with this data so in order to like so if you want all the data set so just click the all data set from 2006 month and then from one to uh, up to the latest date so right now i'm only downloading the 48 data set so yeah it's redirecting me to the login art data login section so if you don't have account so just create it it's very simple process so for example i have the already set up my account that's why you can see my name over here and then now the collection is ready it says 516 mb so i can now download the data set all right so now it's completed uh there are like 48 48 like granules that means there are 48 files so these are the like link to download the data set so simply by clicking on each link you can download the hdf5 file but of course i don't want to download it like manually so i downloaded the file which is in the download section so maybe i move it here and then rename it to the like download.txt okay so instead of like clicking each link and downloading the data set so i'm going to download all the data set uh, within one click so in order to do that so you need qgis so i'll show the code in qgis but of course you can like uh, replicate this code in whatever uh, domain you want for example in the qgis in python environment so if i click on this uh, so editor so section uh, it will show you the things over here of course if you have the file so you can upload otherwise you can simply like uh, copy this code offline and then let me copy and paste it over here and then i'll explain everything all right so let me explain this code so here what i'm doing is actually so i'm importing the requ uh, required libraries and then i'm setting my uh, child directory to d project 
MRG data and download, which is the same file, same folder over here. So I simply copy and pasted the file path over here. And after that, uh, so let me bring it up. And then after that, I'm opening the download.txt file. And then from this uh, links, I'm simply reading all the links and then uh, simply separating the links. And after that, so I apply the for loop and then print the link and then use by using this request library, I make the session and then I request to uh, all the links. So after that, so in order to do that, so I need to like create the session, get the session with my authentication token, which is my username and the password. Of course, I'm going to update my password. Uh, this should not work for you. So make sure to add your own like username and password. And after that, I split all the links by uh, dot and then I save the file uh, inside HDF5 uh, folder. So if I run this, so it is now like, getting all the links and then trying to download. No such file or directory. Okay, so sorry, I forgot to like create the folder called HTF5. And if I create the folder, so it will able to save all the files inside this folder. So let me run it again. Hopefully this time it works. All right, so now it's working. So it is like downloading each links and then printing each links and then downloading the data for each links. So you can see right now I have only four data downloaded and it take up to like five to 10 seconds to download each data set. And if I want to download a whole year, then it will be like very, very big file and then it will consume lots of time. So that's why I'm just showing you the one, um, full day data set, 30 meter interval data set. All right, so now the download is successful. So if I check my files, so you can see there are 48 files inside HDF file folder. All right, so now it's time to write the second part of the code. So in order to do that, so I have the code over here. So I'm simply going to copy and paste the code in the uh, QGIS console and then explain uh, to you. So, so first of all, uh, yeah, we need to like import the necessary libraries, which is GDAL, OS, OGR, and then few of the packages from QGIS. And then we need to set the child directory, which is HDF5. And uh, the directory name is over here. So this is the like path to the directory. Uh, so after that, so I added the total link. That means all the links uh, with the corresponding HDF files will be stored inside total link. And uh, after that, simply I like open the link with the GDAL and then we read that file and then we get the x and y raster x and y size and then output band of course uh, it's one so one thing uh, i want to show you here is like uh, if i try to load the stf file data set five file so there are like lots of like variables grid variables like sq precipitation sq observation time um, lot even lat long we have all the grid values right but we are only interested on the like precipitation calculated or the precipitation uncalculated so maybe in order to add this one so we need to like count the number of indices starting from zero one two three four five six seven so we need to like read the seventh band uh here so I did some of the band operation and then this is the geo transform because I'm, I'm using whole earth data set, which is uh, from minus 180 to 90. And then uh, so here uh, actually while reading the bands, sorry, uh, where is it? Okay, 
so here so where i'm reading the band so i'm getting the seventh indexes so that means it's the precipitation calculated value and uh, other things are simply like uh, setting the geo transformation and then saving the raster uh, writing the raster so that's all so so don't worry about code so i'll provide the code in video description so if you hit front then uh, your raster will be saved in the uh, t folder so make sure you also like create uh, this tiff folder in the main directory so that uh, you will get the tip files over here so maybe i can like load some of the one of the tip file over here and then show you how it look like so basically uh, so this uh, white area represent the uh, precipitation value and then black area represent the non precipitation value which is zero of course and so if i click and check the properties so you can check the all the information like the maximum value minimum value and then the uh, also the like width and height of this raster data type uh, those all things yeah so that's all so that's in this way so you can simply download the precipitation imers data set uh, without like manually clicking each link so you can download all the data set at once and then do your processing things so yeah so that's all so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel